Hey guys, my name is PsychoAsian, and today we'll be taking a look at Wally, -E, the figure Wally, -E, Cube and Stack Wally, -E, from the new Disney Pixar toy range. I don't know what's with this, um, Pix Disney Pixar, if you haven't watched my EVO video, has sort of released all these <laughs> Disney Pixar, I probably said Disney Pixar so many times in one sentence, figures over this, um, over this few months. Not many figures, a couple of different size figures, and to be honest, they look pretty cheap, some of them. Um, Eva and Wally are probably the best looking ones out of them all so far, but they still have little problems, but they are very recognizable. So yeah, let's take a look at it. So first off, taking a look at his accessories, you only get two. Um, you get the tube, you get a trash cube, two trash cubes, uh, in two different molded colors. They're nice sort of rubbery feeling. Um, one's molded in gray and one's molded in brown. And it'll go into a gadget that he has later. So let's actually, those are it. So let's take a look at Wally himself. So Wally himself looks pretty damn good. He just, let's focus first. Yeah, he's really good looking. For, for a Disney toy, I have to say. Some Disney toys look pretty bad. Um, especially in this range, uh, of, in this line of Disney toys. I mean, um, looking at Mr. Incredible and Nemo, they looked pretty, pretty bad and cheap. Um, with him, some of the parts feel really cheap, but some parts feel really good. He's got a really nice sculpt to him. I mean, um, all through his torso, I'm pretty sure his torso is molded, molded yellow, and he's got painted bits, sort of like this whole grill right here is painted. Um, that's a sticker. That's all painted. He's got a nice wash, if you can see, going through um, cracks to sort of define them, sort of allow, make them pop, really. So yeah, it's really cool. All this silver is painted, and it's painted pretty clean as well. Um, this, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's okay. I mean, the yellow is bleeding through a bit. You can see the yellow a bit, but everything's pretty cool with him. His detail is pretty sweet. Um, his eyes are painted in glossy black, so they look like they they're reflective, and they look like lenses. He's got um a nice, a nice sort of all like gun metal gray, nice light gun metal gray there. So nothing's nothing's badly painted. It's actually a really decent paint job. It's actually a pretty good paint job. And the the details are actually pretty nice. Just taking a look at them. I mean he could have more paint on here. These are just basically molded black and molded gray, but yeah, they're really cool. So let, let's actually take a look at what he can do, his gimmick. Eva had a gimmick as well. She had two gimmicks, but Wally only has one. So let's take a look at his gimmick. So first of all, uh, you have to open his hatch. Then you have to pull this back, and that will create a hole. Um, as you can see, it actually states on the back of the packaging, which I'm, I'm sorry I, I'm not showing to you, but... I just sort of threw it away before I had the chance to show you guys. It actually has the same markings as the trash cubes do. So it simulates trash. You can actually put Play-Doh in here and then squeeze it out and create your own trash cubes. But I recommend not doing that because it might actually... I would say um, it would get into the cracks and you would have a far, hard, find a hard time getting those excess play-doh bits out so you may as well just play with the stuff you're given with anyway so you shove that in there you can close it up and if you want to simulate him uh, you know removing squeezing um, trash into trash cubes all you have to do is push this back down that will open and there goes a trash cube so yeah that's his gimmick um, it's okay I guess I mean Nothing that special, but that's what Wally does. He's, he's a, 
a robot that creates trash or is there to clean up the city. And he looks pretty great. Like <laughs> I said that so many times. So yeah, let's take a look at his articulation. So starting from his head, his eyes do have hinges where they can go up and down. So, so sort of um, normal face, like when he didn't have any motions in the movie. So sort of a sorrow eyes like he did. Um, behind those wires, it has a black hinge. I'm not sure if you can see there, which allows him to, you probably can't see it, but it allows him to rotate without this whole section, this whole neck to rotate. So he rotates up there. Um, he's also got the hinge where you can see the, um, sorry, the, the screw. So it can go up and down. So it can look all the way down and can look all the way up. This isn't really hinged, it's just really loose, so it feels a bit cheap, but can swivel all the way 360. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, his gimmick, I guess if you say that's articulation, has two hinges over here that allow, sort of just collapse on each other, allows you to push that in and out. Um, his arms are sort of on peg swivels, I'm not sure, or peg hinges. I'm not sure what the articulation, a lot of the times I I find it hard to sort of name the different types of articulations, but I'll, I'll just call it a peg swivel, um, which he can go all the way up, all the way down, and swivel 360 degrees. His treads do get in the way, but he can still do um, what's necessary. Uh, he's got s nice sculpted hands as well, and this part's pre pretty weird. Um, he can rotate at this part of over here, but he's got these sculpted um, joints that look like his hand can swivel up and down, but they don't, so that's unfortunate. But his fingers can clamp in and out, his two fingers um, go out and come back in, but his thumb doesn't move. So yeah, um, his legs don't do anything, he's just got wheels, so unfortunately there's no tread tread action, but he can, however, roll. For some reason, he can only roll to the left. I don't know why. But yeah, he looks great. If you want a Wally -E toy, I'd say get him. Um, I mean, how long ago was the movie? I'd say three, four years ago. You're not going to get a better Wally -E figure um, in this day unless you go on eBay and pay for the original Wally. -E. Um, I know, was that 12 inch Wally? -E? I don't know. But he, this guy looks pretty good. He's pretty small. He's pretty accurate. He's limited with articulation. Yes, he feels a bit cheap for his price, being um, at the price point of $30. But, why, but with this line, this is the best you're going to get. You're otherwise going to get Eva. Wally, Eva I Wally, or you're gonna get a character that you like, um, which is pretty limited because they only have six characters and most of them aren't that great. So I do recommend Eva and Wally. I'd say get them. Um, if you're diehard fans, get them straight away. If you're not, then you may as well at least pa pass or wait until they're on a sale price. So I guess thank you guys for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.